In this video, we will understand electric current. Consider a metallic conductor. Metallic conductor can be in form of wire, solid rod, or metal plate. In metallic conductor, there are free electrons which can move freely within the conductor. But these electrons do not move by themselves. Now, consider that we connect one end of the conductor to the positive terminal of a battery and another end to the negative terminal of the battery. We also provide a switch either side of the conductor to turn on or turn off the circuit. When we turn on the switch, the electrons starts to move. As we know that, electrons consist of negative charge. Because of that, the electrons get pushed by the negative terminal of the battery and pulled by the positive terminal of the battery. These two forces makes the electrons flow in a particular direction. Say negative to positive terminal of the battery. Due to flow of electrons, current generated in the conductor. And the direction of the current is always opposite to the flow of electrons. Electric current is expressed by the amount of charge flowing through a particular area in unit time. In other words, it is the rate of flow of electric charges. If a net charge Q flows across any cross section of a conductor in time t, then the current I through the cross section is Q by t. The SI unit of electric current is ampere. An instrument called ammeter measures electric current in a circuit. It is always connected in series in a circuit through which the current is to be measured. Here we can see a bulb, a switch, a battery and an ammeter are connected in series. This continuous path of electric current is known as electric circuit. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel.